I think everything feels so chaotic and everything's happening so quickly that everyone in the newsroom just came together and realized that there was a need here for all coronavirus related data and numbers just for California. So we started tracking down all of the, the cases that we knew about any deaths that had already happened by basically visiting every county public health department website in the state. And there are 58 counties and three cities that have their own health departments. Every weekend, we still do our best to survey these counties uh, for new cases and new deaths, but just a lot of them don't update over the weekends. We have these seven day average lines that will help us show that and reduce some of the noise in the data. Really what shows best that the exponential growth of the virus is this cumulative cases by county chart. We plot each county on the same chart so we can see kind of where everybody is, how fast the cases are doubling. That's probably no surprise that LA County has the most most cases and most deaths. It's, it's the most populous county. It has a quarter of the state's population. We've also seen really sharp growth recently in San Bernardino, Riverside, San Diego counties, as well as uh, the Bay Area and the Sacramento region. So we know very little about the people who have died. Um, counties will sometimes release a rough age of a person or whether they had underlying health conditions. It does seem like a majority have been older um, and a lot of people who had health conditions. That isn't to say that young people aren't getting sick or young people aren't, uh, aren't dying as well. In terms of the most confirmed cases, California ranks fifth in the nation. Uh, New York is, has the most. If you adjust these numbers per capita or by population, California ranks much lower. So California was one of the first states to have a coronavirus outbreak, the San Francisco Bay Area. The image of a large cruise ship coming into port with more than a dozen patients uh, confirmed with coronavirus. And I think those, that served as a very visual reminder of the very real risk. California was the first state in the country to implement a statewide shelter in place, stay at home order. It happened on March 19th. That requires of this moment that we direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. And a lot of people have credited even just a day or two of staying at home can make a huge difference in curbing the spread of disease. You know, this is the worst pandemic globally in the past 100 years. We haven't seen anything like this uh, in our lifetimes. This may feel very jarring and very uncomfortable and very disconcerting, and we all want to get back to normal as soon as we can. However, it's also important to realize that this kind of thing hasn't happened in more than 100 years. And so it is going to feel very disorienting. And so what we should do is look upon data and science and to be able to look at where we need to go.